And it was at that point when he realised jumping out of a rocket wasn't a good idea, and that Matt maybe wasn't worth it that much. Hello and welcome to the brand new series from Harvey Gaming. It seems after that rocket attempt to find Matt, I've landed myself on an island, and I can only presume he is somewhere on here. Basically, this island is pretty large. I know it's an island because I created it. And yeah, we're going to have quite a few people on. We're going to basically try and survive, trace and become all powerful. We are allowed to kill each other and we are allowed to set traps and all that sort of stuff. So at the moment there's only two of us. We've got Billy Starney from the YouTube channel Nexus Pursuits and me. The reason why we have different colour wool is if someone finds a base, they need to know whose base that is because this is like one of the rules I've got in. If you find a base, you're only allowed to set up traps wherever so long as the player is online. Because otherwise, you're just going to, well, you're going to basically set traps and the other guy isn't going to know, they can't defend their base, and it's, it's slightly unfair. So, I mean, you might have seen him already. He's somewhere around there, I've seen that. And yeah, hopefully this is going to go really well. We have three more spaces at the moment open. So if anyone wants to join, just put a comment in the YouTube section and I shall contact you to whitelist you and give you the IP. And like I said, I've got some red wool. I'm also in a cheap mode. I'm out of that now. I will never enter that again. And yeah, this is the spawn location. You're not allowed to kill each other here and you're not allowed to remove any blocks from this area and the wool is the only thing and I'm not allowed to use it for beds okay just thought I should make that clear I think it's time to get going I'm going to move in the opposite direction of where Nexus Pursuits is Billy Starney went should we go over here and what you will notice is I have got a texture pack it's the Sfax texture pack with an add-on just for the direwolf 20 slash ftb stuff so that's a beehive you're looking at right there those are going to become essential later in the game now we are again using the direwolf 20 mod pack however i have removed the mini map option on my side at least just because if anyone was to view my videos who's from the server They'd be able to find me a little too easily if they can see my coordinates. So I think that's probably not the best way to start out. So like any other Minecraft game, I'm going to break some logs. I do love this texture pack, it's, it's so awesome. I'm using the 128-bit one, if you're interested. It was recommended, so I thought, why not? Let's get a substantial amount and then dig a hole in the ground so we can hide out, start mining and gathering resources. Because the first thing I want to do is get some armor because I know, I know people are going to be after me because I told them killing is always acceptable. Another thing, I mean, you're allowed, be, you're allowed to steal from people in the way that if you kill someone and they drop stuff, you're allowed to take it. However, you can't steal from their bases. I'm trying to keep this server like, not destroyed by one all-powerful person. Because I can imagine that will be quite boring for everyone involved. Let's grab a few more logs. Find a suitable place to hide. And then start mining. So that we don't die. We also have, we do have mobs on this game. Creepers can explode, unlike quite a few other people I've seen playing the game. They tend to turn off creeper explosions just because it'll damage your pipes and stuff. I mean, that's fair enough, but look at that water, that is cool water. That's fair enough. But then all, all I can think of is, uh, lost, lost my track of thought. Um, I did. I completely lost it. Oh, that's weird. 
What am I doing? Okay, I'm making a sword. Pig, slice of water. What was I thinking about? Hmm. The reason I'm killing these pigs is for the meat. I need to make sure I've got enough. And I'm going to pick up this crafting table. So that people don't know the direction I'm heading. Oh god, two spiders. Oh, I remember. I was talking about creepers blowing up stuff. Now, that's fair enough. Okay, you don't want creepers blowing up your pipes, your expensive framework. But then again, if you're being careful enough... That's quite cool. There's a tree. Let's take these. Oh, no, oh, spider. And I also said the wool cannot be used for beds. So I think that's fair enough. I always think, well, if you're playing the game carefully, you'll place down torches to the extent where your light level doesn't go to 7 or below. If it doesn't do that, then you're not going to get mobs. Oh god, I better not sprint. I'm getting too used to doing that. Oh, there's cows and everything. Should I kill them now? I think I should. I don't want other people getting up. And hopefully I can get some armour. Or save it for books. Stop sprinting, for God's sake. Really got to try and preserve food and resources at the moment. Now, one thing I do know about this map, and I have told everyone involved when they will come on, is that there are no cactus. And the only way you can get waterproof piping is by using the bees. Which is fair enough. Yeah, I thought everybody should learn about that beforehand. It's quite a good place. I think that's a volcano. Yeah, that's definitely basalt over there. And have you noticed this texture pack has a sky image? Isn't that cool? And I put on clouds because I thought it'll probably look better when it's raining because I can't just cheat that off anymore. Stop sprinting. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Okay, there's another pig up there. Awesome, there's a volcano. Another beehive I saw to my right. I'm gonna make another sword. Get rid of this pig. Yeah, like I said, if you want to join the server, free space is open at the moment. I'm hoping you're an active player. And um yeah, contact me. So yeah, that's an awesome volcano, with the leaves still despawning. Oh, let's get rid of this guy. This is clearly some sort of beach over there. Where is he going? Oi, pig. Fool. Okay, I've got two pieces of leather, 15 pork. Is that sunset? It is, it is. Okay, let's pick this up. We want to stay hidden as much as possible. Now what I'm thinking is the volcano is too much of an icon. Anybody who sees it will come near. Oh look, there's Billy Stani. So far so good. There are mobs, my boy. Be careful. Wait, what is this? Hennequin seeds, okay. Okay, I think I'm just either going to have to find a temporary hole, or, I don't know, mobs are going to spawn over here, I, I can see a zombie already. Okay, no, I don't want to go that way, it's so dark. I've said this before, I'll say it again, it's weird how dark the game is at the moment. It's like they've suddenly decided if your light level is about, I don't know, four or three, you're not going to be able to see anything. I mean, down there in that corner, pitch black, can't see a thing. And the beehives emit light, which is quite good. Oh, that's a cool moon. Look at that glow. Let's get down here. Drop down a hole and make this room. Now, you can hear me making things, although you, well, breaking things, although you can't see me doing it. Funnily enough, 
It's completely pitch black for me too. I honestly didn't realise it would be this bad. Oh god. Didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. Well, we've got a bit of light. Oh, oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Let's be a bit tricksy. Oh no. I thought it would let light through. Actually, I think it does. Feel free. Again, I would use them, but I don't want people knowing where I am. And I think it feels a lot more survival if I'm not using graphics to help me find those places. Just hollowing out this hole. Do I have logs? Awesome. I wasn't stupid enough to turn them all into planks. Now, we can make a pickaxe. Let's do that. And grab the cobblestone. I want enough to make, be able to um, make a furnace. So if I can turn those logs that I've got into charcoal and we can light this place up. I'm afraid for the moment a lot of this is going to be underground, you sort of can't help it at this level. Got to stay hidden. So let's make that furnace. And cook. Oh wow, that, that's cosy. That's really cosy. Can I put ladders on the outside of furnaces? Be cool if I could. I didn't need to turn so many into... Oh my god, I can. That'd be helpful. Okay, so, if I put this here, I can get out. From the middle section, okay. And still get to the furnace. I'm going to put another furnace on top, actually. So if I... Oh! Don't want to fall from... Um, fall damage so quickly. That'd be awkward. Copper. Awesome. Mining, mining, mining. Okay. Let's make us the second furnace. Start cooking up that pork. Oh no, what a fail. Come on. Perfect. Grab some charcoal and cook up the pork. And the rest of it we'll make into torches. One for here, and when we need it, we'll make one lower down. I'm thinking, I don't know, do I want ladders straight down or steps? Ladders are more compact and people are less likely to dig into what you've done. Yeah. No, we can live with that. We can live with that. Let's just keep digging down for now. I mean, we've got loads of food. Even jumping isn't really a problem at the moment. Do 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 do. Can we break it? No, we can't. Okay, no problem. That's quite a copper deposit, actually. That's quite good. I'm hoping to find iron quickly. I want that armor. Do, 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 do. And more importantly, making this new server after series one, it's it's mostly trying to get the game to run a bit smoother. Because in series one, we confined ourselves to one single area, and okay. We're confined to this single island, I said. You cannot build your main base anywhere but the island. Because we want to try and keep this as much PNP orientated as possible. And so, we're, this is a large island. 
so we're, we'll be widespread on it. Anything we build is less likely to cause each other lag. Beacon. Oh, okay. Which isn't bad. Cook up some more. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna break this pick and then build myself a stone one. Just so I don't waste resources. Digging down a hole. Okay, let's make a new one then. So far, so good. Oh, and you know what I should have done? I should have. Yeah. Oh, that was weird. It's large. So people can see my items a bit better. I always forget that. Because I like to be able to see everything in there. Because look, 25 pages. I mean, that's a bit much. But hopefully I can remember the names of stuff so I don't have to go searching through pages. Oh, this is quicker. I'm also very interested in um, collecting as much XP as possible to enchant all my stuff. Because this, I mean, I, I think buildings and bases are going to come a bit later on in terms of aesthetics looking stuff, keeping yourself protected and that sort of manner. But early on it's going to be about armour, protecting yourself, protecting your player. Because that's what people can steal from. So, keep digging the shaft down. I realised that I was doing a full wide staircase and that's just it's unnecessary. I think spiders are a bit close at the moment. Oh! Is that texture pack? I thought trapdoors had four squares that you can see through. Or maybe am I completely mistaken? Oh, there they are. Hello. Oh, and blocks in here. Not so good. Anyway, copper ore. Let's make ourselves a chest. Oh, or just one. I have to put it. Do you want to use dirt or? Yeah, let's have dirt. Because it'll fill into grass and it'll look nice. Get rid of the copper ore, the quicksilver, leather, because that's quite precious. Oh, I need to put down some red wool. Okay. Where should I put it? Needs to be obvious. Let's put two down. I'm giving ten to everyone. You have a carpet of red if you wanted. Should probably mention that to him. Placing the wall down in your base. Don't forget about placing the wall down in your base. You can remove it if you move somewhere new. I'm just surprised that fit in one sentence. Digging down. I'm gonna have to use F3. Oh god. I'm gonna have to. Oh, damn. Hopefully, no one's rude enough to look at my coordinates and find me. Because if I forget to edit that out, I've got a problem. Right, I'm still digging. I just keep getting interrupted. I think the biggest problem that I'm going to face is when I want to make a sorting system because that's when I will want my base to be completely project, uh, projected, protected and either hidden or with walls si so high or force fields that no one can, can get in and tamper with it because I can imagine someone will do that anything else special I got? nope 
have two cobblestone cactus. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's sunny outside. Yeah, there's spiders everywhere. Okay. We need a sword. Not this stone one. That's awful. Shift click. Okay, where is he? Should be sunny enough to not attack me. Okay. Except I can't get out. How stupid is that? Okay. There we go. And yet, I'm going to kill them anyway. Come here. Need the XP. I'll tell you what. It adds a lot of tension to the game when you don't know there's someone out there. Someone who could kill you and find you instantly. Let's go back into my hall. What would be the best way of being able to see out and not be seen? I should set up like a piston lookout point. That'd be quite cool. Anyway, let's keep digging down.